I think the first half kind of bit us in the butt a little bit. Um, you know, the ball was just a little sticky. Uh, we were trying to play in small spaces uh, and trying to create uh, in places that weren't there. And then that limited, you know, our kickouts, our drives, and kick again. Uh, I think we had one three-pointer that came off of us penetrating and touching the paint uh, in the first half. Second half, I thought we did a much better job of sharing the ball, creating open looks. Uh, shots just didn't go for us. You know, we missed free throws, we missed open looks. Um, but I thought we played the right way. Obviously, you guys worked so hard to create the momentum that you did heading into the break. Um, to drop these two, have you just seen any, I guess, commonality between these? No, I mean, I think it's, you know, different opponents, different things that uh, happen to us. But, again, it's, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. Um, you know, we, we didn't play in our best tonight. But, um, you know, give Philly credit. Like, again, they've got guys that can make shots, and they made shots down the stretch. Um, but, you know, again, I, I thought in the second half we played the game the right way. Our defense uh, was pretty solid, especially in that third quarter. So uh, we'll be fine. Hey, JB. What's up, Chris? You had uh, 22 three-point attempts last night and just 26 tonight. Um, what is leading to that lower number than what it was? Uh, I think it's, again, it's the lack of penetration to the paint where all that stuff starts. Um, you know, again, making the easier play to attack. You know, when you get two on you, make the easy one. Now you drive, you find your gap. That creates another angle for somebody else uh, to make their play. So I, I think, again, you know, we've got to create more movement, but we've got to create more thrust to the basket towards the paint, force teams to get into some rotations, and then move it from there. Harris, one of 11 tonight. He's kind of been in like a seven-game funk offensively. Are you seeing anything that stands out to you from that end? Uh, no, I think, you know, I mean, we're just trying to help him find his rhythm. Um, you know, we know how much he means to us. We depend on him. You know, we need that guy to be able to break his man down, get to the paint. Um, you know, tonight I thought he did a great job of facilitating when he got to the paint. Um, you know, he does a good job on the defensive end of the floor. So, again, he'll, he'll find his rhythm uh, with his shot. But, you know, as long as he's doing other things, um, we live with Karras. I know that the answer may be obvious, but when you don't have Donovan Mitchell, um, where do you feel that the most? Uh, I mean, I think, you know, the, the threat that he is on the offensive end of the floor uh, and the eyes that he attracts and the gravity that he carries. Um, you know, when you have a guy who averages almost 30 points a game, you know, teams change their game plan uh, for him. And, you know, what he's done a great job of is reading the game and figuring it out, um, you know, how to get his, how to get his teammates involved in those types of things. So, I um, mean, you know, we, we miss, you know, uh, Don, obviously, uh, goes without saying. Um, but, you know, again, it's the way the defenses have to chase him and guard him and the way that he can manipulate the game. As you're trying to get Evan ramp back up and playing him and Jared together, obviously it's a bit of a work in progress. What where are the things you want to see from that combo and specifically from Evan to try to get where you guys want it to be when you get to the playoffs and you're trying to get rewind? Uh, I mean, it's just playing the game the right way, and I think that's what Evan does. And, and I think, you know, where – you know, again, people get kind of caught up with Evan is they just want to see him score, score, score the ball. Uh, Evan's a complete basketball player. Um, you know, they've been elite um, when they catch the ball in the pocket and play big to big because they can share share the, ba share the ball, make plays for one another. Um, so, again, we, we just want Evan to play basketball, uh, make the right play that's in front of him, be aggressive in that decision, uh, be attack-minded, and then just make the right basketball play. Uh, JB, to at the beginning of the third quarter, you kind of flipped Evan and Jarrett, what you've been doing with the rotation. And instead of pulling Evan at, at the seven-minute mark or whatever, you pulled Jarrett. What went into that decision? Uh, again, just felt like we you know, needed a little bit of a spark. Um, you know, the way they were guarding us, wanted to see if we can get Evan kind of going, uh, find him in the pocket, you know, let him play a little bit of the five. That way we can create some of those sprays that we were looking for. Um, you know, and that was it. And um, you, you went with Craig in the first half, but you went away from him in the second half. Can you just explain those two decisions? Yeah, I mean, again, I wanted to try to give Darius a blow in the first half. wanted to give Craig an opportunity uh, to get some minutes, you know, be a floor general out there um, and kind of lead that group, um, but give Darius an earlier blow, knowing that he was going to come back quicker and play uh, big minutes for us tonight. Uh, and then in the second half, you know, I just thought we were trying to run the guys, um, you know, that were carrying the momentum. And, you know, again, we've got those guys who uh, have helped us, and I just want to try to give them longer stretches uh, to see if we could, you know, make a comeback in the game. Thank you. Thank you.